I first I must say I'm not, the, you know, a, uh, I'm a, I'm, I do basic science, which is indeed related uh, to advances in in the kind of applied science that will hopefully solve some of our energy problems. But um, but I'm not a, a true expert. However, it's my impression that this is a problem of finding sustainable energy sources is a, luckily, a soluble problem. Um, and I, I am, am convinced that the main um, advances will take place um, in the area of solar energy, which is, of course, ultimately the uh, final source and of energy that we receive on this planet one way or the other and um, we use very little of uh, the available solar energy um, there I think the big scientific advances are um, that are required and that are being worked on are uh, increasing the efficiency of, of uh, existing photovoltaic cells which are still quite unfortunately low um, maybe a, a factor of two is required to make them economically uh, feasible and um, and and or producing um, very cheap forms of solar cells that could be printed out on uh, in uh, square kilometer arrays uh, and to produce uh, large amounts of electricity in the deserts of the world. Um, in addition, uh, one of the big areas that is now being pursued and is, uh, is increasing the efficiency of batteries, uh, which are uh, still incredibly inefficient. Um, and um, moderate increases in efficiency there could together with uh, uh, solar electricity could, could make uh, electrical cars uh, quite feasible. In my state of California, where we have the strictest regulations in the world as to uh, reduction of uh, carbon dioxide and energy efficiency, um, it looks like by the year 2020, uh, a good sizable portion of the cars will already be electric. We have a lot of sun and could produce electricity at homes and feed them directly into cars and uh, I see that as making an enormous impact. Uh, nuclear energy is something that uh, I think should play a strong role but um, the problems there are are not so much scientific as political, uh, reducing the dangers of proliferation and, and uh, being coming up with a safe yet rational way of dealing with the wastes. Uh, but I'm not someone who thinks uh, has the European attitude that nuclear energy is bad. Nuclear energy is extraordinarily clean and uh, a modern nuclear um, technology has really made some very significant advances in both efficiency and safety. Um, I think those are the main areas where rapid progress can be made, is being made, and um, it, you know, there are no scientific Showstoppers. This is, in a sense, a one, if the investments are made in research, and more importantly in constructing the uh, economic uh, environment uh, for the deployment of these new technologies, and making sure that um, we don't go through these cycles of cheap fossil fuels that destroy alternative energies and uh, make them sufficiently expensive by government policy so that the other industries can grow. Uh, 
I think we're, we're, we can be in pretty good shape. Now, there's been actually a lot of advances in, in research at the engineering level of making the French, for example, uh, produce most of their electricity uh, from nuclear energy. They've had a, very safe operations over decades and decades, and they have uh, are rapidly improving, they and others, um, the efficiency of those reactors. Uh, the waste problem is uh, partly a political one. Uh, you know, the conditions that are put by, by uh, governments on, on how long you have to store uh, with enormous confidence nuclear waste are from a hundred, people argue about whether it should be a hundred thousand years or a million years. It seems to me a bit absurd uh, since we're worried about serious climactic change and running out of energy over a hundred years to worry about a million years. And uh, now the main reason nuclear energy has come to a halt is political and economical. It's the political reaction of a lot of people that nuclear energy is dangerous and dirty and unsafe, whereas in fact, you know, it, it's even with the few accidents we've had, the safest form of energy by far compared to other uh, environmental and health effects of producing electricity by burning coal or, or uh, fossil fuels. Uh, and it's economical because uh, of the political and environmental uh, barriers that scare large companies from making enormous investments in nuclear plants. And it's political in the sense that many people are correctly worried about proliferation issues and, and the ability, you know, the danger of siphoning off nuclear fuels to produce bombs. But all of those are, those are political problems, not scientific ones. Um, and they will change as people realize that this is an available and uh, efficient and safe technology. And the issue of weapons is a serious one and proliferation is a serious one. We, we see that today with a whole variety of, of countries uh, which wish to acquire nuclear weapons. And many of us would hope that they do not. Uh, but again, that's a uh, political issue that is only now being addressed, beginning to be addressed by the countries that have tens of thousands, not of nuclear plants, but of weapons that have been produced in order to kill people. And they're very efficient at killing people. And until we gra deal with that problem, we're not going to solve the problem of proliferation or misuse of nuclear power plants. Those are political and economic problems, but the technology is, is excellent.